Hi, my name is Marcus Conti, investigative journalist, reporter here on YouTube, and candidate for the United States Senate. <coughs> Quick video, right? This is a um, subject that I think um, that concerns me, right? Oh, shit. Shadow banning, uh, ghost banning, all these th things in my title, right? What is it? Right? So I'm doing a little research, and I need uh, your help to figure this out. <coughs> right? Here's what I know. Shadow banning. Can I... As a content provider, shadow ban you as a commenter? The answer is yes. That's confirmed, right? What, what I see, I'll tell you what I see. As a content provider, right, that now gets some comments, right? Uh, what I see is I, I can see all comments for all videos in, on one page, right? And as people comment, I can, I can decide. What ha here's, here's the other thing. If 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 you're a commenter, right, and you spam people all the time, your your comment will probably get thrown into what's called a spam box, my spam box, and then I have the object to I have the the ability to let you out of that spam jail, right, by allowing approving your your comment, and then it'll be seen. Now the other thing is, as people comment, I can see. I could see your name, the comment, and then I can reply to that comment, right? But there's also this other slick drop-down box that says, I can always approve you. I can put you in, in YouTube prison, right? I can, um, I can always hide you, right? So as a con what I'm trying to say is as a content provider, if you suspect that your comments are being banned, it, the answer is yes. The content provider, the person that you're, whoever put the video up and you're commenting on, they can shadow ban you. Yes. Confirmed, right? I'm, I'm a, com a common content provider telling you, yes, that is, that is what happens. What I do to combat that is I don't care what, most of the time, what you say. Opinion is, opinions are opinions, right? I don't, I don't care if you... You know, you want to come on here and give it, you know, I prefer, a, you know, an intellectual discussion because that's why I do this. But if you want to come on here and, you know, good jerk off, scruffy hair, horse teeth, what? I don't care. Right. I'm still going to approve your comment because I believe in the First Amendment. I'm not going to I, I will never, ever, you know, uh, uh, ban someone for, for, for having an opinion that's different than me. That's re to me, that's repulsive. Right. If I if I ever did that. Listen, if you ever came here on this page, on my page, and, and your comment got deleted, that was an accident because occasionally, you know, I, I'm, 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 I got a shaky mouse finger, right? And sometimes it's happened maybe three or four times where I've accidentally deleted a comment and there's no return from that on YouTube. Once you delete a comment, it, it's gone, right? So that's, that's, that's a glitch in YouTube. Why not have a recovery box, right? But that's nonetheless. But I will, I never, what I do is, if you comment here, what I do is I back it up with always approve this, always approve this user, right? You know, and the other way is to subscribe, right? I'm going to get into the algorithm thing in a second. But this is the comment part. There's two types of shadow banning going on, right? There's one that I can do to, to, a, to a, a commenter. The only type of, of comments I'll delete is if it's, if it's blatant spam, blatant, you know, porn or whatever the fuck is trying to sell some stupid fucking snake oil. <laughs> right. As far as f profanity, right? You know what? This subject, sorry guys, but this, this subject of, of when I talk about the Clintons, like I, I've written spiritual books about, you know, you wouldn't see me talking, you wouldn't see me using profanity when I'm describing Eckhart Tolle or, or Thich Nhat Hanh or you know, Pema Chodron, the, the, you know, the, the, the great Buddhist teachers, right? I, I would never use this kind of profanity. But when I'm talking about the Clintons and Comey and McCabe and, and, and you know, and, and, and ugh, it just brings out the, you know, it just brings out the ball kick in me, right? <laughs> so, so, so if you don't like the profanity, go somewhere else, right? Okay, you could, bye-bye. Uh, so, so the other, that's, that's one type. And, and someday, you know what? Someday, I hope I can be all kissy-feely about the politics in America. And then my profanity will go away by nature. But I am who I am, and I'm going to continue to be who I, who I am. So the other type, here's, so that's, 
That's uh, shadow banning a a commenter. Confirm that that exists, right? That's up to the content the provider to to either be a a, a, a communist board <laughs> where only his opinions and or her opinions matter, or a free free speaking place where everybody. Right. The other one is the algorithms. This is the one that I need help understanding because YouTube doesn't tell you what's going on. Now, there's there's certain types of algorithms. I want to. There's an article down below. You could you could read it. It's the only one I could find. It's on view viewreviews.org, and it's uh, metadata descriptions and relevance. YouTube is usually only able to tell a lot once your video actually starts getting some clicks and views. However. Having relevant metadata will go a long way toward getting your video found. Having an effective title, keyword, description, meta tags, and even subtitles will help your video to rank better in search engines, being noticed and getting more views, right? Okay, great. I was a, a, a fucking editor. In a, in a, I know how to write a headline. I know how to write a meta tag. My, my beef is that, that uh, on average, the, there's way more involvement on my channel and I suspect that YouTube has shadow ban my content overall. Now, I can shadow ban a user. You're going to tell me that, that YouTube doesn't have an ability to shadow ban content providers? Of course they do, right? How do we have, of course, it's not even questionable. But there's no, I don't have evidence because I don't work for YouTube. But I would like people to f try to figure it out, right? Now, this, this article guy seems to say that, that's a that's that's normal. An algorithm will search out titles, right, and then it'll appear in the search engine. But <laughs> there's more. Well, look, views and watch time. That's another thing. How many times people view your videos, right? Uh, social engagement. That's the comments. People commenting, commenting on the comments, all that stuff, right? Watch times, right? So he he lists all the all the logical, all the logical uh, uh, suspects in how a video will be will be found right but it it, it this seems to be something more to it it seems that there's some kind of speed break in there where where uh, uh, you know other certain content providers are pushed to the forefront and others are not right is it is it an algorithm or is it actual you know pe someone with their ma finger on the mouse making that happen now I think I suspect it's both. I think that yes. Uh, here's the other thing, right? Subscribers, right? It, 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 there's also there's also another part of it. Some people will fake the subscriptions. I don't know how they do it, but they, there's some there's some kind of mechanic where you could buy subscriptions, or you can I don't know, right? And and people do that. To add to, so that when you come to the page, oh look, this guy's got fifty thousand subscribers, right? <laughs> but then you look in the comments, there's one one comment, and it's his, you know, it's his uncle, right? And they're talking back and forth to each other. <laughs> so so there's a lot of bullshit, right? Now, does that the is the I imagine a smart algorithm will will detect that. We'll see the differentiation between how many you know his 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 uh, how many subscribers he has and how many people are actually paying attention right so so that part of the the that part of of shadow banning is what i would like and have educated you know you can have a theory and that's fine but let's want, try to find some facts you know uh, maybe somebody from youtube that actually worked there or somebody who who programs that actually understands how algorithms work because what I suspect is that there is a political algorithm. <sighs> political algorithm. Oh, fucking hey. That, that weeds out content that is derogatory to the oligarchy. Uh, is that a theory? I don't know. I don't think so. I think that it's, it, it's a, it, certain words, certain keywords, right? And then those keywords are thrown into another pile of positive or negative i i think that an algorithm can easily be you know created to weed out certain certain views that's what i want to know i want to know if 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 youtube this video right here right videos like this are 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 shadow banned for con not con not the type of content but the the um the 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 opinion Right? Our, our opinions shadow banned. 
That's that's the essence of it. Of course, if it, keywords and you know and and number of clicks and number of views and all that stuff, right? Yeah, we know that. Of course, that's 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 a common, that's that's a given, right? So that's what I want to know. But to, to make this, I, I I look. I'm I'm. This is now. This is my my plea to you, is hit every video, right? In in this thing. What well, what I'm trying to do is I saw three uh, a thousand is kind of a bar. Once you have a thousand subscribers, you have more flexibility. You can do live. Uh, you, you can do um, uh, super chat. There's different things you can do once you surpass a thousand subscribers. I think we, I think this channel's at 350, right? So let's try to get it over a thousand. That's one, and um, also search. You know, search the do me a favor and search the search engines, right, on your own and see if these videos pop up. Put my name in. Put the name of the video. Drop it in there and see if it pops up on your end, right? That's something else. Always, always subscribe. If you come by and you're new, just hit the subscribe, hit the like, right? Like other people's comments, right? I always put a heart. I try to put a heart next to, unless you're saying something repulsive, then I ignore you. <laughs> but most of the time, I, I like to drop a heart. I read all the comments. I read them, and, you know, I, I, don't, I can't comment on every comment, and that's repulsive anyway. Why do you want, I'm, I'm making the video. Why do you want me to comment on so, so, so I try to drop a heart on top of your comment. So, so that, that's, that's my, that's my rant for this morning. I just want to know, I want to try to figure out because it, it leads into, of course it leads into the bigger picture, right? Infowars. Why was Infowars banned? How, how does, you know, was he rightfully banned? If, if you have people that want to see your content, right? And they're subscribing and they're engaging in a, in an organic way. Why was why was this guy banned? That's a First Amendment violation, right? That's a f violation of of free speech in this country, and I I guarantee you that Infowars is not the only one. There's probably many other content people way down below sea level. I still think of myself as below sea level that are ready to come screaming out like a like a you know you know like a like a giant beautiful fish out of the ocean and splash down and. Right. So that's that's my uh, that's my that's my view on channel shadow banning. Peace.